purpose of Prospect is to create 3D visualizations of woodland schemes. You start with a 3D terrain model. Over the surface, you can drape a map. Or, if you have aerial photography, you can use that. Prospect then uses your woodland map and database to populate the landscape with trees. Here we are using naturalistic colours, but we can also apply code colours to represent the different species. Or we can display the management coops or filling coops. Or code colours to represent the age of trees. This view shows how the trees are in the present day, but we can specify a year in the past or in the future. We will go forward 25 years. The foreground conifers have now been felled and the saplings have matured. We can alter the view to represent different seasons. Here, summer moves into autumn and into winter. and on to spring. Prospect contains a map view where you can edit your data and set up your viewpoints. The viewpoint can be simply dragged along over the map. Similarly, the bearing or the direction of the view can be dragged, as can the field of view. As you move the cursor over the map, the location is shown on the preview window in the top right. Similarly, if you move the cursor in that window, the position is shown on the map. The map page can display the woodland in a schematic form to show conifers, broadleaf and mixed woodland. Or you can display the individual species. The key indicates the percentage of each species across the project. Where a compartment contains more than one species, the colours are striped. The relative width of the stripes indicates the proportion of each species. You can also display the management coops or the age profile. You can use Prospect to create visualizations of projects that you have already designed, but you can also create and edit woodland within Prospect. New woodlands can be created simply using the polygon brush tool. Simply draw like any paintbrush tool. As you draw the new woodland, it appears on the preview window in the top right. Using the modify tool, we can change existing polygons. And using the erase tool and setting a smaller size of the brush, we can draw a line through our woodlands to cut a path. If we have line features such as this line here which might represent a river or a road we can choose the line feature tool, click on the line and if you want create a buffer zone around the line. There are various options for what to do with the buffer zone. Here we're going to merge the polygons into a single buffer zone and click OK. A new polygon has been created around the line. We can change the attributes of any of the woodlands using the data tool. Click on a woodland and there you can change the attribute. We'll change this to mixed broadleaf, give a height of 16 metres maybe, 
and a spacing of 8 meters. Click anywhere on the map to change it and now the preview screen shows the revised woodland. Finally, Prospect enables you to take a view of your proposed woodlands and combine it with a photograph taken from the same viewpoint. With just a few minutes work in Prospect, these can be merged into a photo montage.